All right, guys, welcome back to the third part of this series. And what we've talked about so far is freedom. When someone hands you freedom, they hand you responsibility. And if they hand you responsibility, it requires discipline. Then we went into how responsibility is categorized into six different categories from financial, family, character development, spirituality, community, and health. That's what we went through last time. Today, I want to show you how to build mental DNA and how that works. The way you do that is it requires discipline. And I'm going to show you what process blocks are, and we're going to go from there. So mental DNA is literally the processes that you have in your mind. I'll give you a quick example is when you learn how to ride a bike, or when you learn how to read, or write. These are all processes that you develop in your mind. So let me give you an example of how to have an incomplete process. Let's say you learn 14 of the of the letters of um, pretty much the alphabets. So now what happens, you have an incomplete process. You won't be efficient when you need those other letters. You won't be able to make the words that you need. So you're going to be incapable. You're going to be less efficient. So a process is a folder that has many tasks inside of it. So now, how do we build through discipline the right processes? Okay, so I'm going to write the word here, what? Discipline. Okay, so discipline is going to dictate literally how we build our processes. And I'm going to show you how we make mistakes in building our process. Number one thing you have to understand. So I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so the first folder is, let's say we're going to put this a folder right over here, okay? And this folder has, let's say, 10 tasks inside of it, okay? And what the folder is telling you, you have to learn these processes. These are literally micro, okay, behaviors, okay? You have to learn the small steps. This is where discipline comes into place. I'm going to show you where we make mistakes, okay? There's the beginning of the folder, the middle of the folder, okay? And at the end of the folder, it's the end of the process. The beginning of the process, the middle of the process, and at the end of a process. I'm going to show you how it works. Some of us, we don't prep enough, so we don't plan, okay? So what we do is we go to make a cake, but we don't have all the ingredients, that's where some people make mistakes. So I'm going to give this a different color real quick. And some of us make mistakes in the initial steps of a process. Second, second level is making mistakes in the middle steps of a process. This is where a lot of us want to take shortcuts. And unfortunately, I want you to understand, when you take shortcuts, you create more steps. That's what people do. Now, what also happens here is we become distracted. We want to go sideways. We want to do what? Other things. We don't complete the process and we become distracted. Let's say I'm doing my homework and I become distracted by something else, which I want to watch TV or I want to go to my friend's house. I want to do some fun stuff. I become distracted and I go to a different process. That's where some of us make mistakes. So now... All I'm saying to you here is this, don't make mistakes there. Don't make mistakes in, let me again do the same color here, okay? Don't make mistakes in the middle of the process. This is where people set themselves up for failure at a completely different level. And now here's what happens in the third part, okay? So the middle here, okay? And we're going to go towards the end, okay? So now, here's what happens when we get ourselves to the end of a process and we still make mistakes. And this is how we make the mistakes. We make the mistakes by not transitioning. So let's say we, we bake the cake, we have our fun, we do everything, but we don't wash the dishes. And we leave that to some other time down the line. We don't finish the whole process. So we make mistakes where at the end of a process as well. And so you can make mistakes in the beginning, which is here, the middle or the end of a process. 
And you need the discipline to really get yourself to such a place where number one, number two, and number three, you don't make mistakes. So if you feel like you don't plan enough, you need the discipline to make sure that you sit down, you give yourself enough time to plan. If you are in the middle of a process, you have the discipline to make sure that you don't get distracted and you stay on task, you stay focused, and you don't jump to other processes. That's number two. You also need the discipline to do that. And number three is the end of a process. And you also need what? The discipline to do that as well. Because now you begin to understand that discipline is needed at all three levels. You always need discipline at all these three levels. And when that happens, you'll begin to understand that you are building a process. And not to have incomplete processes, you want to build complete processes. And the minute you have the discipline, this, after running this, after a little while, becomes a habit. And you do it over and over and over and over again. The discipline is no longer required because it becomes a habit. When a habit becomes yours, meaning you own it, now it becomes a lens. So when you walk into your door, your subconscious mind will literally trigger that habit. And let's say, you know, remember your wallet, remember your keys, you're about to transition. That's how it works. Mental power and discipline is needed at the beginning to earn the habit. Then after you embed the habit into your subconscious mind, you don't need it anymore. You don't need that willpower as much. It literally just triggers. And now what happens when you do that and you keep building processes, you are now building the mental DNA. And that's how it works. If you build your subconscious mind to aid you and help you, you become a beast in terms of your efficiency. There's nothing that can stop you there. And now you keep building and building and building other processes, and it's incredible what happens to you when you do that. Next, what I'm going to do in the next module, guys, is literally do this. And I'm going to show you what process, performance, and outcome goals are.